Hello everyone, welcome to module 6 of the socket programming with Python video series. Uh, I am Tuya from Hectalyzer team. In this tutorial, we'll look at a beautiful tool called Scapy. What is Scapy? It is a swift army knife for person who love networking. Okay. Scapy is a powerful interactive packet manipulation tool written in Python and the best part is that it can be also utilized as a library in python program before i do any further let me go to its official website uh, this is the scapy official website sexdev.org here we can get some documentations and slides we can download let me explain more on scapy with one of its official slides so here we go. This is a sl slice from Scapy website. So uh, in this slide, you can learn Python with just two slideshow. So actually, it is the syntax structure in Python. There are many tools for network testing. So some are sniffing tool, some are bracket forging tool, a sniffing tool like TCP10, Etherel, and Wireshark okay there are testing tool like ping hping2 hping3 there are scanning tool like mmap amap vmap hping3 okay so what's the problem the tools are good but we cannot do something that the other didn't imagine for example try to find a tool that can do an icmp reco echo request with some given padding data we cannot do we'll do this example with scapy in this video an ip protocol scan with more fragment flags some erp cache poisoning with a vlan hoping attack a trace route with an applicative payload such as dns okay so here's another example when we use hbin and then we'll see the output of hbin here's here's the output of hbin and here's the actual packet so let's see the difference so we can see the ip portion and then we we can see the ttl and then we can see the id and then we can see the icmb sequence number okay there are some other data which are missing in hbin output Okay, so some data leak into padding. So this is called ether leaking. We cannot see in HBIN output. So here is the MMAP output. So it said the SSA service and its filter. So we cannot see what happened in the background. So if ICMB hosts and reachable from who? If ICMB bot administratively prohibited from who? Now you see. Only using one tool is a problem. So with SKP, so let me show you demo with SKP. Now you can see how powerful SKP it is. So here's our Kali Linux. The SKP is pre-installed in Kali Linux. So let's one we call SKP from command line. It will pot at the Python interpreter because KP is based on Python. So now we create an ICMP request packet. So it needs IP as a base protocol. So let's create an IP header. To do that, first we need to declare a variable. Let's say my PKT and then use IP method. So let's see my pkt dot show. Here we go. This is the IP header portion. So let's change the source and destination address. So let's say my pkt dot destination is one nine two one nine two one six eight zero dot one. Okay, and then verify again with my pkt dot show method. Here we go. Now it's changed the destination address and as well as the source address. This is our IP address, our Ethernet interface IP address. And then we'll create a 
ICMP header. So let's say my ICMP. It is just a variable, and then we assign ICMP method. Okay, and then my ICMP dot show. Okay, all value are set. It is ICMP echo request. So let's send the packet using send method. Okay, my PKT, my ICMP, and then I'll uh, I'll customize our payload. Let's say socket program. Okay. Before I send, uh, let me open Wireshark and then see what happened in the background. Okay, you can zero. Okay, let's filter ICMP. So, and then send the packet. Okay, let's see what's happened in the background. Here's our ICMP uh, packet, ICMP request packet from uh, from Kali Linux to our Windows 8. So, let's see what what inside it here is our payload let's socket program so and then this is a type a echo request so and then in reply also the the window 8 machine reply with socket program okay so without skp with hpin or any other tool you cannot do like this let me write this line of code as a script file. So let's exist. And then go to desktop. Create a file. Scapy icmp.py. First, we need to declare the Python interpreter part. And then we need to import scapy in our script from scapy.all import star this is another way of importing python module and then we create uh, we we set the destination ip is equal to 192.168.0.1 and then we create a packet is equal to IP destination is des our destination IP and then ICMP method and then our payload let's say hello world okay and then we send the packet with send method okay it's all set save change the permission run the program okay now the packet sent one okay let's verify with uh, shock here we go then hello world and then the reply with hello world okay we use icmp protocol as an example for skb okay guys that's all for this video we'll learn more on skb in the next tutorial so see you in the next tutorial bye